Okay, so I've just finished patient care, and when I'm coming into the sterilization room, I want it to be in full PPE. You'll notice I'm not wearing a mask, but I, I, you won't be able to hear me if I wear a mask, but you're supposed to wear a mask. So we bring back our, all of our instruments on a tray and carry it to the dirty side. My cassette is dirty, so what I'm going to do is put it into the ultrasonic. It would be full of water. We're going to close the lid and we can turn it on and it would buzz for about 10 minutes or so. And then once it's finished, we're going to take it out, set it on the drying rack, let it dry off for a few minutes, and then we're going to wrap it. Now one thing I do want to note is if there's a large amount of debris on your instruments, you will want to have wiped that off with some gauze before you bring it back and put it into the ultra ultrasonic because the ultrasonic might not buzz all of that um, debris off. So after it's dried, we're going to bring it back over here to the dirty side. This is where I'm going to wrap my cassette. There are a couple different sizes of paper to wrap. This one looks like the smaller size. Nope, I take that back. This is the smaller size in here in the second drawer. And the larger size to wrap the cassettes is in the top drawer. So I'm going to take out one sheet of paper and set my cassette down here on paper. Now there's a couple different indicator strips that we use for sterilization, for heat sterilization. One is the indicator strip, which is a paper strip, and we're going to put that inside of the cassette. And before we do, we're going to put our initials and the date and slide that in. The other one is for use with the autoclaves and the statums, and this shows the that the steam and the heat re reached a certain level inside of the machine that's sterilizing. So that is our integrator strip, and it has a metal backing. So make sure you put the right one inside the cassette and the right one inside the autoclave. And we'll talk about this one in short, uh, shortly here. So I'm going to put my initial here. JS and today's date. And I'm going to open the cassette just enough to slide it in. Okay. Now I want to fold the cassette up, wrap the cassette up kind of like a present. Um, so we're going to use a couple different types of masking tape here. One has an indicator strip on it and one is plain masking tape. So we want to use, this one has a little bit, little stripes on it. We're going to use one piece in the center on the back, just like that. And then the rest of the masking tape that we'll use to wrap this cassette up is going to be just plain masking tape. And the reason is that this is much, um, much more expensive than regular masking tape. You want to make sure there's no gaps or that nothing with the cassette is showing as we're doing this just because it has to be fully sterile and fully wrapped. And this is open a little bit more. I'm just going to put another little piece of tape. There we go. Now when I heat sterilize this, you will see these stripes on the masking tape turn a dark color. And that will show me that, that this has reached the proper temperature. Now on the front of the cassette, we need to know whose cassette this is. So what we're going to do is mark it. And this is Stephanie's cassette. So I'm going to put Stephanie M. I'm going to put the date, and I'm going to put my initials. Okay, so the student's cassette, the date, and your initials if you're the one wrapping it. All right, now I'm done with this. I'm going to set it over here inside this container until everything is right, until we have enough 
things wrapped, ready to go into an autoclave or the statum. So I'm going to put that in here. I'm going to take my dirty tray. I'm going to take a Volo wipe. Make sure to close that back up so they don't dry out. And I'm just going to wipe this down. Nice and good. Front and back. I'm going to throw this away. And I'm going to tuck this in here to dry. And that is pre-sterilization.